Good evening folks, Alvis51 here, uh, tonight we're talking about Area 51, um, which ironically enough is uh, similar to my channel name. Um, so Area 51, it is a military base in the Nevada desert and you can't get to it, because if you do try and get to it, white vans come down and they escort you away from Area 51. Now, I'm over Area 51 now and what something I like to do on um, Google Earth is adjust the time. And if you look at this big area here, you can see they've like started different runways here then going back they obviously had different plan back there for different types of runways um, what does puzzle me is what this massive flat surface is actually for because planes aren't that big uh, it's almost got a roundness to it which if I'm thinking way way out there it's um, is this for something big I mean look at this here look at this area here and then if I move it along to so that's in 2006 and then move it along to uh, 2009 it's almost like something has melted the area what could actually do that it's like something has taken off or something's happened there from 2006 which is just nice and smooth there's some of this up there as well it's interesting not so much there that's 2002 it's 2006 and let's go to 2009 melted absolutely melted um, and I would I'd put money down that that there is not erosion that's happened that's instantly happened um, I mean what that's gone three years to that I don't know what's going to have happened there. I'm probably going to find stuff going down the line on this video that I've not seen before. Um, but something I did notice as well is this bit here. So this is this to me looks like a massive landing pad. That this cloud here possibly is going to land there. Because that there it doesn't look like a cloud that I've ever seen and this is in 2011 there's clouds over here 2011 and then you've got this it's almost like one of them cartoon clouds that you see all these nice bright clouds and then you've got that one cloud that just looks angry it's an angry cloud now whether this cloud has been just photoshopped in and it's been put over that image and that is something else or um, I don't know maybe something's hiding in that cloud and the cloud is actually like that but I mean look look at this here it doesn't look it doesn't look real that cloud doesn't look real to me at all. Let me know what you think to that because I just, it's, I don't know, it's lying to me that cloud. That cloud is definitely lying to me. But yeah, this sort of melting here that is not here, 
in 2006 and you go to 2009 and it's all there um like i don't know hot plasma or something or what i don't know what would do that um whether they've got shuttles um taken off from there but i mean this for all i know this here it could be like them things that they've got at nasa where they take the space shuttle out and it goes off the ground um but i do find it extremely puzzling the uh the damage that's done to this area over time i mean we're going back there 2002 to that Something's gone off there. Something's crashed. Oh. Something's made a mess, hasn't it? It really has. But this cloud, I do, I find... I don't know. You're going to think, why does he find it puzzling? But I do, I find it extremely puzzling. Why? There's this... Really weird looking dark cloud you move to anywhere else you've kind of got normal clouds look at the shadows of these clouds as well look at all the shadows i mean i don't i think that satellite image could have been taken at different times to be honest with you um they just i don't know it's just it's not the shadow doesn't seem right on it either I don't know, I'm probably, I could be wrong about that one, but it just seems a bit, it just so happens there's a big, really grey cloud over Area 51, and I've not seen many clouds like that on uh, Google Earth, it's, it's not, you don't actually get a lot of clouds on Google Earth, funny enough, which is quite strange, but, um, and they just, they, well, they probably just take it on really clear days, they probably go, look, I'm going to invest a lot of money in this, um, Got to show the world uh, how round the Earth is. You heard there about them uh, flat Earth conspiracies. I'm not sure what to make of that. I'll tell you something, if it's a flat Earth, my channel's blown out the window. Because what's uh, the moon? That's for another time anyway. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Um, also, there's here. What? What's gone off here? I and mean, then this is like a. I think I've nicknamed this nuke site. It has absolutely been. obliterated. It's like there was houses here. It's, I don't know, it's like some sort of suburbs almost. Like a test suburbs that was. that Maybe it was, maybe it was one of them early nuke sites. Then the building on it again. It's not that interesting. It's just weird. This oh, this whole area is weird. Now this one, I wanted to show you this one. So this base here, which is not so far away from Area 51, you can see that this has been, it's very, very primitive there with the... I don't know why they put these circles around. I would love someone to tell me what, what these circles are all about. Is it so they can see them from space? Um, so they're building a runway there. Building a bit more to it. Building this hangar up here. Let's, let's go in further. More of the hangar. Runway's looking better. Now look at this hangar here. Watch this. This one almost looks like an insect with things poking out there. Um, this is that's a weird hanger, isn't it? And I've seen another one of these hangers um, near Area 51. Uh, maybe the whole thing's Area 51. Um, but look how it opens. I've got it. Move the time. It's opening up there. I've not seen. I don't think I've ever seen a hanger like that. I mean, it might be just that I'm not 
I've not got the knowledge and there's loads of hangers like this. It's a new style of hanger, but I mean, there's a plane there. And look at the wingspan on that I made. I don't know what sort of plane that actually is. It looks like it could be quite a big one. Now, let's have a look at that. Let's just get me get me measuring tape out. So that is from wingspan eleven point fifty seven meters. Yeah, it's not amazingly big, is it? Um, let's just have a look at this from here to here 33.62 meters it's big ish um, it's just how it actually opens that it's weird um, look at all this look at all this stuff here I mean what could possibly do this sort of melting that's Absolutely everywhere. It's odd. It's definitely odd. The whole the whole place. I mean, look at this. What have they been doing? What have they been doing? Someone's been naughty up there. I mean, God, how many times are we going to bomb? His own planet. He's just just strange. The fact that we do that. I mean, I suppose it's testing, isn't it? It's testing what we've got. But that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. What they've been doing. They've been um, bombing away at each other. Oh testing bizarre absolutely bizarre the mind boggles um, but yeah these and this is a flat area again look at that another massive flat area what for what are these flat areas for what could they possibly be for what do we have that's that big that we I mean, we're tiny, aren't we? We're absolutely tiny. And yet we get all these massive spaces to put things. Almost seems like a waste. Anyway, I, go check this out for yourself because, I mean, it's one of them things that you're either interested in it or you're not. I'm interested in it. I'm not showing you any aliens or anything like that. I'm just showing you Area 51. I mean, it's 1947 is what it's famous for, isn't it? The Roswell crash. And then that's where they took the aliens. I um, wonder if they kept any of them. If they're mates now. But it was a weather balloon, so we don't need to worry about that. But yeah, anyway, check it out for yourself. The main thing I wanted to show you was that, because then I don't understand why that would all, all of a sudden do that. I mean, what have they been using? Whether it be alien or human, it's been, to cause that much of a mess. Um, let's measure that. I love my measuring tape. 1,425 metres. It's a big mess. Yeah, so anyway, go check it out. And um, if you'd like and subscribe to All This 51, that would be absolutely fantastic. Much appreciated. And uh, I'm going to get some more videos looked at. I'm going to get some... I've got some Mars images coming up and some moon images. Um, I'm just getting some more together so I can just put a bit more substance to it. Um, but yeah, have a have a nice evening. I may have a glass of uh, wine now. Good night. Mind the bugs don't bite. <laughs>